Philip Shai Boudon joined Body with Povi and other Ninja comedians to commission renovated blocks of 20 classrooms for Bini. Deputy Governor for Edo State, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shai don't challenge all students, make them do something good for their schools where they attend. He thought this was for the commissioning of 20 renovated classrooms where Bovi Uboma, the popular comedian, donates to the University of Bini Staff School on Monday for Bini City. Shaibu Kontro we salute give Bovi say what he do they unique and a better thing as he donate one story build the way consti get toilet, library and staff rooms. He can talk say what in Bovi don't do don't ginger and make he give back to his own school where he graduate from where be Savannah Primary School and St. Augustine Secondary School for Kaduna State. He talks say make everybody shook hand for Edo State education make it day better. Uh, I want to join my sister the Vice Chancellor to thank our brother, our son, that we are well pleased for what he has done for the University of Benin Staff School. Uh, when we hear alumni members coming to do things, it's always at the university level. It's actually the first time I'm seeing any of us going down to the primary school to construct and remember that. Most time it's at the university level we see and commission project by Alma Matat. So, Mr. Bombi, you have set a new record. And uh, when I came here, I just remember my own uh, secondary school and primary school in Cardona State. So, I need to visit Sadana Memorial <laughs> College in Cardona. I also need to visit St. Augustine Primary School and Eli Barnawa Cardona. So, you have started a new fire, so you have to, that fire has to burn. So I want to thank you and congratulate you. And to also join my sister that you should bring all your other people to come and do more. Uh, because now, to whom more is given, more is expected. We have given you awards. As you look at our award every day, just be remembering and that you have to do more. So, uh, our prayer for you is that God will continue to prosper you and keep you and protect you as you move for your daily activities. God will keep you and protect you and guide you against all negativity. It's not very easy from this part of the world to give back. It's not a tradition, but gradually, all of us are gradually coming in to know that we have to give back. Government alone cannot do all this. And I also share with you that now that you have done this, obviously the Vice Chancellor will not be looking at this. He will be looking at bigger things to do with the university resources. So if more people come to fix what will say little but not little, and I told you why it's not little, I calculated the amount you have spent on this, and when you calculate it to the number of structures that are still begging for this kind of attention, it's huge. But when we come to support projects like this, it gives space for other bigger projects by the institution or by government to focus on. I also give us that courage to ask questions because we are also giving back. So why would government or authorities that are supposed to do their own, do their own best? So I want to thank you. It was a short notice, but I said I have to be here to encourage you and to encourage others to emulate what you have done and for all of us to contribute our quota because leadership and followership, Nigeria is begging for the two now. It's not just leadership problem, also followership problem. And that is why I continue to say in every forum that I go that we should go beyond just waiting for 2023. We should start praying now for God to give us a president that will gather all of us and make use of all of us to the benefit of our country so that our country will be re will live up to its name as not only giant of Africa, but a country that is blessed with natural and human resources to the benefit of us and to the actual name that we are supposed to hold in the Committee of State in Africa. So let's start praying for our country. And let's also work towards making sure that we collect our PVC to actualize our prayers. And I will not 
tell you where to go. God will tell us where to go at the right time. So that now, let's leave sentiment apart. Let's genuinely pray for God to give us that person in 2023. And I can tell you, when we pray, God will show all of us. You just see all of us on that day going to one direction. And because for me, I've experienced it, and I know that God is alive. And I've always told my people when they are very worried, I say, they just go and pray. I say, you are working hard. Now you need prayers. And don't pray with bias. Don't pray with sentiment. Just be open. And at the right time, you see all of us going to the right side. And it has happened. And I can tell you, now all of us, because if you don't, the danger is that the country is already collapsing. The danger is that it will now affect some of us that think we are still standing. There's no big man in Nigeria. No big man. Because when the country collapses, all of us are in it. So please. So Mr. Bombi, I congratulate you. And I thank God for your life. And I'm sure the next one will be coming is Agodai and Agose will have to be. <laughs> Vice Chancellor for University of Bini, Professor Lillian, and Headmistress Mrs. Mercy Edokpolo, can't shook mouth for the matter. University of Bini has actually groomed a lot of people. For our primary, secondary school, we've had them in thousands. For the uh, university, we've graduated over 355 graduates. And they are all doing well in areas of specialization. Now here we have the primary school. Indeed, I was filled with almost tearing up when I saw Aunt Mary. This same student, who is now a man, who is an accomplished man, actually called her Aunt Mary too. So I said, oh, there's something about this Aunt Mary. So she's been here for that long. But nothing brings joy to anyone that comes back to pay or give back to the same system that actually groomed you. Without a foundation, no house can stay. Without this primary foundation, you can't be who you are today. And so I respect people who remember their grassroots, who remember where they have come from, and they come back to pay. We have always said that the universities, whether primary, secondary, or the tertiary, are now being run by people like you. Our principal can no longer hold ground. Our principal can no longer. So now we have to look for other sources to keep the system going. And so we have you know, constantly reached out to our alumni, whether at the primary level or secondary school level, or indeed the tertiary level, so that you had the whole idea that came to you that you needed to do this. We cannot write the history of this primary school without remembering you, Mr. Buvio Boma. Because I think this is the one of a kind that has happened, not only in my own time, but I think in the existence of this primary school. So thank you so, so very much. And I want to actually appreciate your friends that actually took out time. They should have been earning some money somewhere. But they decided that not only will they grace this occasion because of you, but they came because of the love that they have for this university and then for you know the uh, UDSS. So we pray and we'll continue to remember you in prayer every time we see this building. In fact, when they came to me and said you needed to use green, I said even if you wanted to use purple, I didn't give a damn. But as long as he was going to do something. For me, that is all. It's not the color, it's the intent, it's the you know, the fact that you have come back to appreciate your own. So I want to thank you. Don't be too sure that we'll even use you to meet your friends so that they also can do something for your alma mater, even if it is just supporting you. Because you have a kind heart, and we pray that Almighty God will continue to elevate you, will continue to bless you, will continue to prosper you, so that as you do more for mankind. Look at the children. They are so excited. They are not going into their classroom. Because one of them, in the next 20, 30 years, these ones will be the one who will rebuild some of these buildings. So they are going to step into your big shoes. So thank you, and thank you very much. The building consists of 20 classrooms and staff rooms. Before now, most of the classes were upstairs, we were leaking seriously. 
that whenever it rains, the pupils will often move from one position to another to avoid getting wet by the raindrop. During the 50th anniversary of the school, a passionate, passionate appeal was made to the, the school to help salvage the structures in the school, which were old and dilapidated. In response to the clarion call, Mr. Bovio Oboma, a 1990 pupil of the school and a stand-up comedian, decided to pick up the story building as a pet project to renovate, and today we are witnessing the commissioning. The following were either renovated or replaced. The roof of vessels were replaced, the ceiling board, the window louvers were replaced with modern beautiful aluminum casement, the toilet tiles on the wall were removed, replaced, while all the toilet seats were removed, too. Introducing the introduction of urinary for boys and girls with modern flushing system. Lighting, control switches were replaced and a new modern ones, including the wiring in the classroom. Now the block wear a very bright POP light and a good modern fan fixed in each class. Both inside and outside were all painted, all looking new with beautiful color, including the shelves and the door, which can now be locked. The floor, the terrazzo floor was not left out, as the floor were washed, cleaned, and polished, while the back part was reconstructed. Tables and chairs, Mr. Bovi Obama's love for color has really played out in this renovation. The children's chair were renovated, and new ones were also produced. The green color was used for 400 two-seater chairs for them, and the teacher's table also. All, they are all wearing green color. Even the teacher's cupboard was constructed and painted. Mr. Bovi Oboma, indeed, words are not enough to show our appreciation of your kind gesture. On behalf of the school management, the staff, pupils of Univers Staff School, both past and present, I pray the blessing of God will envelop you. Bovi Oboma contacts a waiting driver to give back now because the school and the foundation will help him. Bovi contacts a waiting driver to give back now because the school and the foundation will help them when they grow up. He can't beg the school, make them use the facilities well. Uh. I have always admired you from afar. And it's what gave us the courage to approach you in less than, less than 24 hours to be here. And you did not disappoint. I'm also um, privy of what your, your schedule for today looks like. And I know we have made you late for your very next function, but we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts on behalf of me and my friends. I also want to use this opportunity to say thank you to the headmistress of this school, Mrs. Edokbolo. I'm grateful. Thank you for inviting me. This all started when they invited me for the 50th anniversary of the school. Um, I'm very grateful to you for, for inviting me. I also want to use this opportunity to say thank you to Auntie Mary, the meanest teacher ever. <laughs> Auntie Mary is a legend, you know. In fact, I'm grateful she didn't take my class. <laughs> I was in the GM from 1985 to 1990, KG3G, Primary 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. You know, but she was UNB, right? <laughs> That's how famous she was. We, we were hearing of her from our side. A very staunch disciplinarian. And indirectly, you affected us as well. You trained us in a way that has um, bore fruit. So I say thank you to you as well. I want to also use this opportunity to posthumously thank my late mother, Dr. Margaret Uboma. She put me in this school here and she trained me. The work my teachers were doing here, she was completing it at home. Matter of fact, I consider myself a very strong member of this community because I was born in UBTH. So I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to my late mom. Um, if she was still alive, she would definitely have been here today. I'm grateful to her. We actually started this before even communicating with you. And you gave your blessing despite that. Because when, when it hit me, I was like, we have made a mistake. We should have reached out to you as well but you gave your blessing and your support and you have been here this is the first time we are meeting i'm very happy and i'm grateful to you i'm very grateful because i know how um, protocol and stuff like this can be in public uh, institutions 
I'm very, very grateful to you. Thank you very much, Professor Salami. God bless you. Thank you, man. My earliest influences in stand-up comedy, two of my earliest influences are seated here. I go save and I go die. <laughs> right. I want to say thank you to them because, I, I mean, I'm not from Edo State. I'm from Delta State, but when I decided that I was going to do stand-up comedy, they were the first set of people who entertained me while I was in university. And I was like, these guys are no older than me. What's going on here? Their career started way earlier than mine, even though we were age mates. They were, they were teenagers when they started. So I say thank you to you guys. Um, I go save especially how to postpone his trip to be here. He was like, how can you be doing this thing and you're hiding? You cannot be hiding and doing stuff like this, right? Lastly, I want to say a very special thank you, and I want all of you to help me thank him as well, uh, Mr. Austin Obara, my friend. When I wanted to start this, I said, Austin, I'm going to, I think I will need a contractor, an engineer, and he's like, no, 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 no. We need direct labor, and I will do that for you. And side by side in renovating this building, Austin was also planning the funeral of his mother, which was on Saturday here. So I want to thank you for your selflessness. You were coming here every day from GRA to do this and supervise it directly. It's a Herculean job at no cost. In fact, Austin was basically sending me receipts and explaining, oh, talk to the person doing it. And I said, Austin, I trust you. That's why you are my friend. So I'm using this opportunity to say thank you to you from the bottom of my heart. I'm grateful. And I think we all owe him that thank you. He made life easy for me at this project. That's, that's it pretty much. Once again, uh, Deputy Governor Komi Shaibu, thank you so much. Thank you to all the staff of the school. Thank you to all the parents. Thank you to all the students. I need you all to know you are doing a good job. Like the deputy governor said, most people do this for, it's usually, you usually see this when it's a university, they attend it, the alma mater. But I have always preached about this school. Even one of my shows on TV, the uniform we wear, the inspiration was for this school. Yes. When my mom opened her secondary school in Delta State in 1999, I insisted that prevailed on her to make sure the uniform was purple and pink. <laughs> so that's how much this school did for me. Growing up, I realized that my formative years started here. And this was where I did primary four and primary five, 1989 and 1990. And it gives me great joy to see us refurbish this building like this today. Thank you very much. Ogbonge Pesi wait and for this event. Now popular comedians, I go die, I go save. Vice Chancellor Uniben, Professor Lilian Salami and others. Oluwa Tobi Odeshola, TMC TV News. Make you now remember say your PVC na your power. No go say your vote for any politician or political party.